Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you a whole line of perfumes by the amazing perfumer Francis Kirkshan. But the beauty of these ones is that they are affordable, so I can't wait to share them with you. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And if you already are a part of the community, you know how awesome you are. And without further ado, let's get into this. Now, the line that I'm wanting to talk about today, uh, again, by the perfumer Francis Kirchshan, uh, is uh, Nina Ricci's Lextas line. Now, these are all super affordable. You can get all of these for like under $80, some of them for under 50. So fantastic prices and they're all amazing in their own right. But I want to go through, share with you a little bit about each perfume and maybe help you make a decision on which ones you want to purchase because there are five in this line. So I'm going to start with the original. Now this came out in 2015 and it's just called Lextas. Now as you can see the bottle's kind of an ombre brown color. Now sadly I was given this fragrance a few years ago uh, by my good friend Lori who didn't like it and I sprayed it on myself and I went I don't like it and I passed it on to my sister and since then I'm like so sad because I really 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 love this fragrance so it took me a while to warm up uh, but this one I'm definitely a fan of all of these fragrances except for one I would say are more rose centric. So this one you definitely get that rose, but it's a little bit juicy. In the opening you get pink pepper, peach, and pear. Um, I don't really notice that. I just notice a little bit of a juiciness. And then in the mid you got rose, raspberry, white flowers, and jasmine, but definitely the star of the show is the, the rose. You get a tiny bit, like I, I, I guess I get a, a little bit of that raspberry, but it definitely more just comes across as kind of a little bit of a fruity note. Now what really stands out with this one is it has caramel, cyan, benzoin, and amber in the base. And I definitely, definitely get that caramel. This one comes across as kind of a fruity, airy rose and then dries down with this beautiful caramel. So it's quite sensual, but definitely it's one that you could wear during the day. Uh, this one also performs fine in the heat, uh, but would work great in the cooler months too. So it's kind of an all year round fragrance. And out of the whole entire collection, I would say that this one is, uh, you know, most uh, kind of across the board mass appealing anybody could wear it you could wear it as a signature fragrance wear it all year round so beautiful beautiful creation by francis kirchan uh and this was the first one that came out in the line the next one came out in 2016 and it is called l'extase caresse de roses so this one has a beautiful uh, little kind of tassel gold tassel on it and the bottle is a little bit more pinky toned this one in the opening has bergamot and pear in the mid it has two different kinds of rose peony lily of the valley and raspberry so you're still getting that raspberry rose combination and then this one has white musk and patchouli this one I found to be uh, a little bit more powdery uh, you still get that fruitiness uh, and you definitely get the rose. So the rose would be the star of the show in this one. Um, the other thing is, is that the misters on these fragrances are just beautiful. So uh, definitely get that rose, but it's a lot more powdery. I noticed the pear uh, rather than just a, a juiciness, but what this is missing and what makes it not as great to me as the original is it doesn't have that caramel in it, which gives it a little bit of something something, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of sensuality. So this one is really nice if you don't like your fragrances to go too sweet. Uh, but this was definitely my least favorite out of the bunch. It was also the the poorest performing. So on me, it didn't last that long. So I think this one is an EDT. I'll have it written uh, on it, whether it's an EDT or an EDP. But I believe this one is an EDT. So it's nice if you want something light and more rose uh, centric. Um, but it, it certainly... It certainly wasn't my favorite out of the bunch. L'Extase Caresse de Roses, uh, pretty fragrance, but by far not my favorite. 
Then in 2017, Francis Kirchjean created these two gems. This pink one is called Rose Extase, and then the black one is called Lextase Rose Absolute. Let's talk about the pink one first. Now this pink one has red berries in the opening, rose and raspberry in the mid, and then the base is vanilla musk and amber wood. So uh, this one, this one is definitely a juicy, jammy rose. There's a tartness to this one. Uh, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, uh, it smells juicy, it smells rosy, it smells jammy. It's absolutely delicious. Then there's Lextas Rose Absolute, and this one has pig pepper and black pepper in the opening. The mid is Tafe Rose and Atlas Cedar. And then the base is Benzoin Vanilla Musk and Patchouli. So these are both absolutely gorgeous fragrances. Now, uh, the differences between the two is this one has raspberry, this one is more woody. This one comes across a little bit more deep, dark, sensual, whereas this smells more juicy, a little bit tart, both rose-centric fragrances. Uh, out of the two of them, I prefer this one simply because the longevity is better on this one. So this one, I get about four hours. This one will last me 10 plus hours. So the longevity on the black bottle is absolutely phenomenal. As far as scents are concerned, I like both of them equally and I can see it being kind of cool to have this one during the day if you really like that jammy rose feel, to have this one for the day and then to layer with this one in the evening. They're both absolutely gorgeous. Now some people have compared this one to Delina. I don't think it smells like Delina. I think it smells like a rose raspberry combination that's quite jammy and juicy and delicious. Uh, and this one is this sensual rose. That said, this, this feels like it's got that same DNA. So I feel like I'm getting raspberry uh, or some sort of jamminess in there, uh, but it's absolutely just juicy. Uh, deep, sexy, awesome, 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 awesome awesomeness. Uh, and again, the longevity is fantastic on it. So these both absolutely beautiful. The most recent one uh, was created in 2018 and it's called Chant Dextas. And first of all, I just absolutely love the color of this bottle. Like all these bottles are really classy looking, but this kind of turquoise blue, uh, greeny blue color. It's just gorgeous and it kind of is fantastic as far as representing the scent inside. So this one carries on with that raspberry in the opening, but then it has ginger, lemon, and pink pepper. Uh, so you get a little bit of a spicy kick, super juicy uh, with that lemon and ginger combination. Like I absolutely love this. And then in the middle it has sea notes, rose, jasmine, and magnolia. The base has caramel, vanilla, musk, and ambergris. So you're definitely getting a little bit more of that uh, watery component, a little bit of a freshness in it with that ambergris and the sea notes. Uh, but the opening is absolutely gorgeous. So in the opening of this one, I get like this delicious kind of gingery raspberry lemon combo. Uh, I wished that um, uh, when I think about Girl of Now Forever, the raspberry lemon in that, I wish that it was this because this is phenomenal. So just a beautiful, juicy, fresh, uh, opening and then you've got these um, you know C notes with the the florals I don't notice the rose near as much so in this one it's just kind of a floral but the floral definitely takes second stage uh, and then uh, with those base notes definitely getting the caramel vanilla musk feel once this dries down so the interesting thing about this I love the opening not as crazy about like, let's say 30 minutes in for about an hour, not as crazy about this one. And then it just blossoms and you start to get that vanilla caramel again coming out with the fruit and it's just absolutely delicious. This one is perfect for the summer. Um, I, you know, a person could wear this one all year round. The longevity was decent on it. Like I got about six hours, great projection, sillage, all of that. Uh, so this one is just absolutely gorgeous for the summertime, especially just because of that juiciness and the solar kind of quality with the watery aspect of this one. 
So uh, really, really beautiful. And again, that bottle is gorgeous. So the big question is, do you need all five in your collection? Uh, is there any that are redundant? So I kind of want to talk about them. Uh, first of all, these two are very similar. So the original Lextas and then the Caress de Roses. Uh, both are similar. I would definitely go for the original Lextas. Uh, as it is definitely um, longer lasting, like way longer lasting. And I just think it's got a little bit more uh, complexity to it. I love the caramel in it. Uh, this one to me is just way, 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 uh, a way better performer than the Caress de Roses. And it's just overall just such a gorgeous fragrance. So I would choose uh, the, the original Lextas over this one. And they're kind of similar. So out of the two, definitely a better performer, a little bit more complex, a little bit more uh, just kind of sexy. So this one uh, would be the winner between the two of these. And then these two are a little bit more similar. Uh, they are both absolutely gorgeous. If you want something a little more jammy and sweet, choose this one. If you want something a little bit more moody, I actually think that this one has been compared to Oud Satin Mood. I may be wrong, but I believe it's been compared to Oud Satin Mood. Uh, so, you know, you've got that deep kind of almost a little bit of an oudy feel with the woods in this one paired with that rose and that pepper. So this one is super sexy. This one, the longevity is significantly better in my opinion than the pink one, uh, but they're both really gorgeous. Would I buy both of them? No, actually I would buy this one. Uh, if I wanted some jamminess, I would layer the original Lextas with this one. Uh, I wouldn't feel the need to buy both of them. So I would choose one or the other. If you're super, super in love with jammy, rosy goodness, buy this one, wear it during the day, buy this one and wear it in the night or pair them together. Uh, you could do that. If I were to choose, I would choose this one out of the two of them. And then this Chant d'Extase, definitely different than the rest, a major departure. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, like I just, I, I, I absolutely love this one. So if I were to choose, I would buy this one, I would buy Chant d'Extase, and I would buy uh, the Lextas Rose Absolute. Um, I would say as far as order of love, this one would be my first, this one would be my second, this one would be my third. Uh, the Rose would be the fourth, and then uh, this one is way, way down there. This one I didn't like at all. The, all the rest are amazing. So anyway, that's the collection. Do you own any of these? If you do, which ones do you love? I, I can't recommend this one enough. Like it's, it's a great price. It's a beautiful fragrance. I don't hear it talked about that much. And look at that bottle, like it's just stunning. So definitely check out this line. They're all winners in my opinion. You really can't go wrong. Um, I, I, um, I love, love, love these three. And so yeah, those would be the ones that I would choose for sure. Uh, maybe that rose one eventually, but I think it's kind of redundant if you have this one. Uh, yeah, so these three for sure would be my picks. So anyway, let me know if you've tried them, which are your picks? Uh, do you love this line? I just think it's really cool that although uh, Francis Kirkjian has so many amazing fragrances in his own niche house, that he's still out there doing amazing work with designer brands. So you can still have something by this fantastic perfumer uh, that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Now, I will leave these linked. Uh, most of them are to FragranceNet, but this one is cheaper at Fragrance Buy right now, so I'll have that linked below. Uh, but yeah, they're just literally fantastic fragrances. Definitely worth checking out. One other question, do any of you have any fra Francis Kirchhoff fragrances that are affordable other than this line. If you do, leave them in the comments so we can check them out. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.